Welcome to this edition of Education Briefs, brought to you by the New Jersey Association of School Administrators, which is comprised of chief education officers and school administrators representing school districts throughout New Jersey. Here is Dr. Richard Baza, Executive Director of the NJASA. What's on the horizon for New Jersey's public schools this year? Budgets and funding challenges, shared services and school security, and changes in assessment. Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Baza, Executive Director of NJASA. If you live in New Jersey, here are the items to watch for the 2014-2015 school year that have the potential to impact your local budgets and students. Number one, budgets and funding challenges. While the state budget has already been set through the fiscal year through June 30th, 2015, there are a few issues and court cases to follow. For example, 20 mostly southern rural districts called Bacon districts that are educating a large population of students in poverty are fighting for the same equitable funding that has been afforded the Abbott districts. The funding was promised in a 2008 successful lawsuit. To date, the resources have never been provided. The Education Law Center has recently filed a notice with the state requiring that the funds be allocated. We're awaiting the decision. In addition, public employees are challenging the governor's budget decision to withhold the required $1.57 billion in funding of the state pension system. If the court decides the payment will be made, adjustments need to come from somewhere. Also, costs for providing for special education students are rising at a faster rate than those for regular education. This creates another need for budget shifts. Another factor to keep an eye on is the lawsuit seeking to provide cost of living adjustments to public retirees. A favorable ruling will require the state to provide a substantially larger portion of future state budgets to meet growing pension payments. All of these items have the potential to reduce needed funding to local school districts. Item number two, shared services. A cost-saving trend in publicly funded services, such as police forces and schools, is to examine ways to save money by sharing services. For example, Hunterdon County has just merged four like-minded school districts. Other districts share purchase acquisitions on supplies, equipment, and much more. Many opportunities do exist, and each situation is unique. Number three, school security. While many schools are more secure than ever before, school leaders are vigilant in their unwavering dedication to providing student safety and security. There are ongoing conversations about whether armed guards belong in schools and other ways to protect our students. Finally, Item number four, the impact of changes in student assessment. Governor Christie has decided to phase in the impact on teacher and principal evaluations of the new online testing called PARC, the Partnership for Assessment of Readiness for College and Careers. That's a prudent move, as it will be the first year that all students take the assessment. A gradual implementation gives us time to navigate the bumps and challenges of an online assessment of higher standards. Over time, we'll also have to examine how the park assessments will impact graduation requirements. New Jersey's chief education officers are working hard to confront these challenges and others, always with the goal of the best interest of our students. Stay tuned, watch for developments on our Facebook page, and read our blog on njasa.net. Until next time, thanks for watching. New Jersey's Chief Education Officers, moving education forward. To learn more about New Jersey's Chief Education Officers, visit us at the web at njasa.net.